Hi everyone, here's Simone. This is tutorial number seven. Today we're gonna draw from soaps. The technique is uh, really easy, and uh, yeah, let's go. I'm now like uh, drawing uh, this draw here. This draw is from my girlfriend, and is a uh, concept for a um, tattoo and she's a tattoo artist i will put the, her link uh, her instagram link uh, in the video description so if you're interested in this kind of design uh, you can take a look uh, so starting everything from a top and converting it to a shop with a trace and adjusting the position with the transformer I'm passing everything through a particle system and the particle system in this case is a archive of a world space position that we can generate by pushing the state of the particle. Inside here the actual little particle that we are uh, associating to each point are converted to chop. I'm using uh, um, a merge chop with uh, a noise that in this case is only a huge amount of samples, a line. In, and I'm stretching uh, the everything is coming inside to this merge to the smallest interval possible. So in this case is this one that is growing but uh, we'll have an end that is uh, after 600 seconds. I've noticed that uh, to have a stable draw, this is the good amount of second to have. Okay. We are now here in chop world, and uh, chop can be can do calculation really fast, so we can modify the shape like this uh, everything is going back to shop and uh, lander we can of course noise the incoming uh, draw with the noise to achieve this kind of effect The system is of course modular, so you can actually input what you want. And now I choose to render a scalp. And sometimes take a while to the draw to stabilize, but I guess it's nice even to see like this. I'm using the line mat as material for the render for the geo because it's really useful. We can all output line points and vectors. Finding good angle for the camera is important in this kind of graphics. The idea of this te technique was born because I wanted to draw a tree, so we can input a nice system. We can tell the particles to go slower by reducing this number, time inch parameter in state page. And actually 
dividing everything for root time dot rate, root dot time dot rate, uh, we're actually, I guess, uh, quantizing the number of this time inch, and uh, so you won't flick it out, flick it like that. If it goes too fast, then you are drawing really fast. Then, then again. Yeah. As you can see, if the draw is coming more from where we are, we have to adjust the, the numbers. As always, it's a matter of gusto, so yeah, up to you. How and what display. Again, thanks to Valentina for the beautiful draw and the possibility to use it here in this tutorial. And yeah. Thanks for watching.